So recently, this guy named Grian, I don't know if you've heard of him, released a video showing some interesting ways to hide your base in Minecraft. And I wanted to put them to the test in survival and see if I can build a secret base under my friend's nose using only the entrances in Grian's video. Let's get to work. So I've been looking around at whose base to try this at, and I think Rex is actually pretty perfect. He's got a lot of different areas we can work with, but there is one really big problem here. We'll get to that in a bit. First, we need to decide where to put our secret base, and we really need to hurry because he could jump on and catch us at any time. Now, I personally love this pyramid and the copper house that he made, so I want it to be somewhere between the two. So maybe right up there in the ceiling. nothing special but it's purple and there's a giant freaking bee so I mean if Rec does find this he'll at least know who did it this is gonna work out great it's pretty centralized between his areas his copper house is right up there and the pyramid is right over there and we can use the cave around the pyramid in order to pull off the half slab trick that Green did and after much hard work later it's done can you tell? Hopefully not, and hopefully this works. Because I've never actually attempted this before, but according to Green, if you fly really fast at a half slab, and then ender pearl at the last second, ouch! At the last second, okay, at the last second, yes! There we go! So that's one successful entrance down, and five more to go. So this next one is gonna be tricky because Grian uses an observer to trigger a stasis chamber. But I've been searching around this little village for so long and there's literally no existing blocks that can trigger the observer. Except for maybe a bed, but I don't want villagers getting me stasis over here randomly either. So I guess that means we're gonna have to go with the old remove and replace method. And I think Jeff's hut here is gonna be perfect. Oh boy, Jeff, uh, <laughs> you're not looking so good, dude. So Rec used amethyst for all the floors in these huts. Which I'm hoping means that he's not going to swap them out anytime soon. So if I place an observer to monitor this block right here and link some redstone up to it and hook that up to a stasis chamber, then hopefully when I come in here and break this block, it'll give me just enough time to put the block back before... Perfect! I'm actually kind of surprised that that redstone worked. I mean, I'm not surprised at all. I'm an incredible redstoner. I mean, I did make a highly sophisticated goat launcher last episode after all. Anyways... On to number three. And again, this one's gonna be a little tough because this secret entrance uses a shulker box. But Wreck, the poor peasant, doesn't seem to have any shulker boxes at all. Okay, he does have one, but his goon seems to be guarding it. I don't like the way he's looking at me. So we're gonna have to just place a shulker, but that also means it has to be super well hidden or he's gonna find it. But where to place it? Nope, not a chance. No again, never gonna work. Wait a second, that spot might actually work. There's a too high gap right there and it's all underwater so the colors blend in a lot better. Yeah, that's actually not too bad. Plus, this is Rex's side entrance so he probably won't even be looking down while he goes in. So if I dig a little tunnel, waterlog a couple chests for our shattering ankles, and wander down this little tunnel, then boom, there we go. We're back in the base. That's three entrances down. We're already halfway. Uh, actually, YouTube's gonna hate my video if we don't waste some time here, so, uh, quick, Gwen, set the speed of the video to 0.25 to up the average view duration. Okay, Gwen, take it back. This is the worst. Ugh, ugh, that sucked. Okay, you know what, Gwen? Just queue up a commercial. Trees, trees, trees. Do y'all like trees? Good, because at Bees Trees, we tear them up by the root and sell their woodly corpses for you to enjoy. Stack them up, break them down. Hang him on your mantle as a trophy. Whatever kind of tree you hate, we've got him. So put down that axe and come on down to these trees and get yours today. So now we have three of Green's entrances to our secret base. The slab entrance, the shulker entrance, and the observer entrance. We've made some pretty good progress so far, but remember when I said there was a really big problem? But there is one really big problem here. Well, it's time to address it. Rex base is... Not in the snow. And the powdered snow entrance is probably one of the cooler parts of Green's video. But how in the blocky breed am I supposed to make a powdered snow block blend in with the forest? Not to mention Rex's whole base is pretty much made out of copper. I could try to use a golem to make the whole area like a snow biome, but that's a little too close to a griefing territory for my taste. And this powdered snow stuff really doesn't go with anything. Not diorite, not sand, not even... Wait a second. Birch. Okay, hear me out. These textures don't go together like at all. 
but in the density of a forest of trees, your eyes might not even really notice the texture as long as the color is fairly similar, especially if we make the whole tree powdered snow. So now if we just dig ourselves a little tunnel again and connect it all the way to our other drop shoot, we wind up right back in our base. Now it's not perfect, but listen, it's important to remember not everything has to be perfect. And also that it's completely Rex's fault for not building his base in a more fitting location. And just like that, we only have two more entrances to go. But this next one is kind of out of our control because for this secret entrance, Green throws himself at the will of a chorus fruit. And if you don't know, a chorus fruit, whenever you eat it, just kind of teleports you randomly wherever. Which means that if you're standing close enough to your secret base, a chorus fruit could teleport you straight in, which could happen on the first try or the hundred and first try. So here I am thousands of blocks away from home trying to get enough chorus fruit to make dreams come true. But have I mentioned we have to hurry? I mean, wrecking it on at any minute and catch us setting up our secret base. Why does everything in this game want to kill me? Okay, so I've got a couple stacks of these chorus fruits, so hopefully even if it takes us 101 tries after all, we should be covered. I think our base is actually like right here, so let's try it. Nope. No. Nope. 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 There it is! Hooray! Finally! Okay, so that one is probably the most secure way to get into your secret base, but honestly, uh, it's also the biggest pain in the butt. On the plus side, we only have one more secret entrance to go. I'm fairly certain that Green's antics are at play here, trying to see how many people in the community will actually make this a regular entrance to their bases, but whatever. In Green, we trust. <laughs> All we need to do is place down an ender chest or two, put down a bed and set our spawn, unload everything we care about into an ender chest, and yeet ourselves out of existence. Yay! We made it home. Safe and sound. And that's it! We now have six entrances to our secret base, and the best part is, it's right under Rex's blocky little feet. Or above them. I mean, it really depends on where he's at. <laughs> now it's time to really put Green's entrances to the test and see if Rex notices any of them without causing him to be suspicious. And I think I have an idea. You need me to tour the base? Yeah, I just need a quick little tour, you know? Take me around. You've been doing so much work around here. So this is the nether portal. This is where all starts. We have a nice archway above with a rail on top. This is how I transport my villagers. Everything is made out of copper. Theme of the base, copper and deep slate. I've noticed. The hole in the sky is very functional. I fly through there so often. Uh, that So that's the entrance. Feel okay. free to try it out. Yeah, that's the entrance. I will not tell you how I've been getting in here. <laughs> how have you been getting in? I said I wouldn't tell you, and I meant it. <laughs> the base is actually so easy to fly around. Like, I'll fly straight down here with some rockets. Can you give me, like, a nice whirl? Like, just, just a... Oh, my goodness. Watch sure. yourself. Oh, yeah, yeah. You better whirl yeah, for yeah, your yeah, life. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm whirling. I'm whirling. Yeah, you just you just keep rolling. You're doing a great job. Over here is uh, the last episode's work, an underground village. Oh, I really like this place. Yes. This is nice. And it's so safe, too. Wow. So much safety. This guy, he's gotten killed by a zombie three times, and I've just cured him every time. So now his trades are, like, uber cheap. <laughs> Look at Jeff. Wow, he's looking really healthy. So where's my house? Uh, I'm sorry, you haven't paid me rent yet. Wait, I have to pay rent to live here? I feel like you need to like put that on like a Discord server or something. What is that? Oh, this is a waterfall. This is also how I get in. Yeah, I use this entrance more than my normal entrance. Was that too lengthy of a tour? No, no. Am I, I missing another so. thing? Um... No, you're not missing anything. Also, if you look up there, we got a floating grindstone, an essential part of any base. Don't oh. you forget your floating grindstone. Here, you know what? You know what? I think I have a spare up here that you can have. You can put it in your base. I can? In my base? Uh-huh. You can have that in your oh, base. So kind. So kind of you. Thank you so much. <laughs> no problem. Nope. Always trying to help out a fellow base. Wow. Rec didn't even seem to notice a single one of those. So I'd say that Green's secret base entrances were a flawless success. Well, most of them. But this place is missing one thing. The floating stone cutter, as required by Rec. Ah, uh, it's perfect. But I'm still not paying Rec rent. Now here's the thing. I know that a lot of you guys are gonna want to tell Rec where all the secret entrances are. But I have a different suggestion. Go watch Rec's latest video and leave a comment saying, Branzi made a secret base in your base. And let's see if he can find it. And of course, if you haven't seen Green's video on the secret entrances, I'll link it right here. Trust me. It's worth your time. And as always, tune in for the next one.